What's up, everybody? One, two, one, two. Let's get right into it. Ding, ding. The bell will ring. I'm trying to get this camera right. So, yeah, check this out. I want to talk about... I'm going to talk about boxing news. I'm going to read it as it's going on. There's a lot of good stuff. What better be of coming up with evil? But before we get into that, I just want to go on record. And again, i got to talk about it because it's hot, which, which is crazy because it's not even a real boxing match. But anyway, Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul, of course... If you've been watching the channel, you know what's up, how I feel about this. As a legitimate boxing fan, not some fan, some 13-year-old watching Jake Paul. Just, oh, Mike Tyson, he's going to destroy him or whatever. So, yeah, this fight is a sparring session, in my opinion. Multi, multi-million dollar sparring session money grab. It's great that Mike Tyson is getting the money, but once again, if it was taken to be seriously, I can't believe I'm even saying this, if the fight was taken seriously... I would say that Mike Tyson would have a lot of problems in air against any 20-something year old because of the way he looked in his last professional fights in his 30s where he was so winded he's like a four-round fighter. But let's check out this new video, breaking news. Look at this. Boom. Fair use. We're criticizing it. We're commentating on it. So don't even try your false copyright strikes, whoever. But this is from Mike Tyson's Twitter. Yo, look at Mike Tyson run. It's great. He's in great shape. He's running. Even with all the things he does outside of the ring that is not exactly healthy in some people's opinion, but not related to sports. You know what I mean? He likes that green stuff and other things, but um, he looks great. He's running. That's great to see. I just don't want to see a 60-year-old man. He's almost, what is he, 58 the night of the fight in July? So it's crazy because... I'm just watching this and I'm like, I can't believe Mike Tyson is almost 60 and he's going to be fighting in quotes, a 20 something year old fighter. Um, of course, it's all about the money for sure. Mike Tyson's selling this thing. It's like the WWE and some people believe this is going to be real. Uh, <laughs> imagine if I'm wrong. I don't know. Well, he does still have the power. He still has the power, but I think Jake Paul, even possibly if you're a weekend boxer, uh, construction guy, we've seen them journeymen on the road. I think, in my opinion, a serious one, C-level fighter, could beat, at this point, any 60-year-old former champion or 58-year-old former champion. You see what happened with Evander Holyfield? And if you're waiting for the one big bomb, Jake Paul could run, tie him up, just try to avoid it, slip, and then Tyson will be so tired, like he was in his 30s. Again, if you look at... Uh, Danny Williams, I think his name was, yeah, versus Mike Tyson, Kevin McBride, his last fights in his 30s. Again, Tyson was still in his 30s, and he was very diminished from what he was prior in his mid-20s, late-20s, all running up until Buster Douglas, and then he unfortunately spent some time in jail. Um, love that Nas line, even the champ, the champ's locked up, even my brain is in handcuffs off Illmatic the album but anyway yo that was messed up but that's another story but that definitely hurt Mike Tyson when he was locked down and then he came back against Peter McNeely I'm not taking notes all in the head and who was basically just some um, journeyman occasional fighter at uh, Don King Mike Tyson's promoter at the time got him up there and he said this is going to be the perfect comeback fight for Mike Tyson they built this the hurricane I think his name was up the hurricane who was just some non-entity no one knew who the heck he was and he went in there against Mike Tyson, and it was an easy win. And then there's questionable fights after that. When Mike Tyson captured some titles, he fought a guy named Bruce Seldon. I'm still trying to see where that right hand landed. I think it was a, a right hand that initiated the knockout for the titles. This Bruce Seldon guy, I don't even think he was hit. Arguably, it might have been a dive. I don't know. From what I remember, I was I was like, yeah, I got to rewatch that. So anyway, fast forward to all these years later, decades later, Mike Tyson... How are you going to take this seriously? How is this a real fight? It's an exhibition. It's like WWE, and that's what they've turned this into, this whole boxing scene into. As it's a more popular, it's it's got to be like wow for a real fighter. It's got to be like damn, really, like a real champion fighting. This Jake Paul guy is getting more attention. It's crazy because he had a following on YouTube, a big following, a lot of kids or whatever watching. So. They're banking in on that, and they're going to make all this money off a sparring session. So WWE, in my opinion, a setup fight. I can't take this in. I can't take this seriously. On top of that, no 
50 something or late 50 year old man should be taking should be allowed in this day and age in any type of sport sporting sporting situation whether it's an exhibition or not with no headgear or anything even with headgear should not be allowed to take punches in the head okay that's wrong i don't want to see tyson get injured i want to see him to go on to to have be run like we saw in the video earlier do some running training all that good stuff but to take shots seriously serious blows to the head at this stage of the game come on something's just not right about this i don't like it i know a lot of other legit boxing heads don't like it it's really lame but anyway moving on i want to talk about this real quick this is an undercard announcement so if you don't know better be if amazing fighter versus bevel crazy right they're both undefeated anyway the undercard i believe they're both undefeated the undercard has zang that big dude versus deontay wilder that's going to be crazy if wilder cannot beat this dude he needs to hang him up i don't want to see wilder hanging around and getting head damage i'm going to give him a break on his last fight versus parker i, I think you know Wilder still has that huge power. It's going to be really interesting. Um, let's let's see what the fans are saying here. Someone wrote, great matchup. I think Zhang destroys Wilder so badly he retires, but I wouldn't put money on it. Wilder, someone else says, still capable of producing a KO at any time. Exactly. That's my point. That's what I'm saying. That power is legendary. He has like Foreman-like, Mike Tyson-like power. It's insane. Um, Zhang does get tired. This person saying Zang gets tired and sloppy, and that can be uh, detrimental when fighting someone like Wilder. Absolutely. Wilder just needs to land one clean bomb. I I'm always going to put money on that bomb coming, that big shot from Wilder to uh, to, to win this. But if he, he doesn't and Zang hangs around, it's going to be a lot of trouble. Zang better get his cardio and defense at top level for this fight. One mistake, the fight can be over. Yeah, it's going to be really exciting and interesting. Um... Really hard to say who wins at this point, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm a, I'm biased, but I'm a Wilder fan, so I'm gonna say Wilder can knock this man out. If he doesn't, he can lose a decision. He's got to he's got to get him out of there. So someone said I disagree. Wilder at ten. So this is exciting. This is a really exciting fight. I'll probably make a one-off video on this. This is really good. If you're a boxing fan and a heavyweight boxing fan, this makes the card even more worth grabbing. Okay, this is what a card for sure. Some of our what a card. This is uh, the co-feature, I believe, on this card. It's going to be excellent. I can't wait to see it. Um, uh, this is so good. So Deontay Wilder, is he going to make the big comeback fight? Is he going to capitalize on it and win? We're going to find out. I want to see this guy. So Deontay Wilder has 43 wins, 42 KOs, three losses. The two losses from Fury. And the one came against Joseph Parker in a, a unanimous, what was it, a unanimous decision loss. Before that, he knocked out uh, Robert Hellenius. He looked uh, incredible. He looked great. But he didn't get the rounds in. And, um, hey, you know, Deontay Wilder is entitled to a few losses. One, two, three. We'll see what happens in his next one. I'm pulling for him to come back. But it does look like at his age, he's on a downside of his career. But let's look at Zhang's record real quick because I really don't know his record. 26 uh, wins, 21 KOs, two uh, two losses, one draw. So I'm going to go I'm going to go for I'm going to go I'm going to pull for Deontay Wilder in this one. Um, this is going to be great cuz this this better be if guy and Bevel. This is the fight. They're so reminiscent of each other, really. They're just like these uh they're just really tough, stiff jabs. It's going to be really good. I'm pumped up to see this fight. Art, 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 Art the Benabiev is um, trying to get his record. Oh, they want me to log in. i got to log in. I'm on Box Records. Thank goodness I have an account with the password remembered. I'm doing this in real time now, so I'm trying to log in here. Bear with me one second. I just want to look at the records. So, let's see. Better be, let me just put that in there. I'm um, putting in the search bar here. Oh, this is so annoying. <laughs> okay, here we are. Got him. 
forgot his name. Okay, wow, this guy, Arthur, I always say author, Art better be if has a perfect record. This is crazy. 20 wins, 20 KOs. This guy looks invincible, but he's 39 years old. He's 39, he's a light heavyweight. This this guy, this, this is gonna be such a good fight. 5'11", reach 73 inches. Dimitri, I think Dimitri is younger. 22 wins, 11 KOs, and anything can happen. He's 33, he has an age advantage. Six foot tall, 72 inch reach. And this is one of those fights where they say 50-50. Like 10 years ago, this 50-50 thing started. It started catching on. Everyone goes, oh, it's a 50-50 fight when a lot of boxing so-called experts don't really know or they don't want to commit to a winner. It's like a cop-out. Oh, it's a 50-50 fight. Whereas so many times I got on here and predicted fights where it wasn't a 50-50 fight. Finally, we could apply it to this. This is like a real true 50-50 fight. Um, Bevel is orthodox, where you know they're both they're both left they're both right regular fight they're left they're both righties. So I just really want to see how this fight turns out. I don't know who's gonna win. Um, if I'm looking for anything, I'm looking for I'm I'm looking for a survival by Bevel, meaning he survives the big bombs and the pressure, and he can utilize his boxing skill that he showed so eloquently versus Saul Alvarez. I don't even know who the favorite is as I'm reading this. So if I had to make a prediction, um, I'm gonna go for Dimitri Bevel in this one. It's gonna be a really interesting fight. I'm telling you, this is a boxing fan's dream. And then on the, on the card, you got Wilder. It, that's, I gotta be the co-feature, right? I don't know, I guess so. I'm really excited about this. I'm making this in my free time. You know, it's really hard to uh, squeeze all this in. I'm, this is news to me right now. I'm like, I don't sit on ESPN or whatever all day and watch all these things. So I got to watch as the news develops here as well as like you probably are doing. So this fight's going to be dope. Pumped up about that. It makes up for the horrible Tyson versus Jake Paul fake fight. This Stuff like this. We need real boxing back. Real excitement. Quality fights. This Jake Paul guy... The one guy fights Tommy Fury, the one, you know, just a C-level fighter, Tyson Fury's name helps make that fight sell and he loses. The fight, the one time Jake Paul does a fighter, a real fighter, he fights middle-aged MMA guys. At this point, why don't he go elderly and, and get William Shatner in there or someone, Star Trek, James, Captain James T. Kirk. But anyway, he got exposed. He fights one real fighter, that is Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury, and he loses the one time he fights a real fighter who happened to be just a sea fighter. Nothing special. Just one of those fighters like a Peter McNeely fighter, right? Um, okay, anyway, it's your boy. I'll be back with another one whenever soon. This is fun. I love talking about this stuff.